earthquakes, storms, disease, sickness, death. So much to fear these days. In today's episode, I want to take a moment to acknowledge what we're going through in these days and these times and to say a prayer for all of us. Today, I want to take a moment to acknowledge that we have a lot going on in the world. I mean, we've had a lot happening for the last year and a half. I don't even know where to begin, but you know if you've been informed of everything from disease to virus to calamities to governments being overthrown uh, to all kinds of horrible things happening in the world. And if you all didn't know, I am actually a resident of Miami, Florida. And if you all don't know by now, Florida is the epicenter of where um, I would probably even say the world, but definitely the United States, where uh, we have the highest COVID cases and hospitalizations, for sure hospitalizations. And it is such a scary thought, right, to think that, you know, you or your family may be affected. And I know that I know for a fact I have friends, close friends who have been affected. And with everything happening right now, you know, you, you may either be or have been affected or have had a family member be affected or even much more than affected. Something tragic um, may have happened. And I want to take a moment today to just say a prayer, just say a prayer because we are living in such tough times right now, such talented, uh, such challenging times and times that are testing our faith, I would say. You know, currently, like uh, going back to just being in a place where um, so many COVID cases are present. Um, and then today, today hearing about an earthquake in Haiti that apparently has caused at least a thousand or more casualties. And this is just the start. And so I, 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 I have friends who are from Haiti. I have, you know, spirit, my spiritual family, many of my you know, church members and brothers and sisters that are from Haiti. And my heart is going out to them and their families that uh, may have been affected. So I, I felt a need to come here and just say a prayer um, for uh, this country, for, for this island. Um, I, I want to say a prayer for the just right now. There's storms that are going in um, towards other islands, including um, my mom, my mother's um, island, Puerto Rico, a tropical storm. And then um, potentially two storms coming this way to Florida as well, as well as potentially going to again affect Haiti. This, these are things that are not um, they're not a surprise that we get, you know, storms happening uh, during this time of the year. Now, at this time of this recording, is we're in August. But it's certainly when, when it's just one thing on top of another on top of another, you just, you, you just feel afraid. Like, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I, I have felt fear. I'm, I'm personally vaccinated, but I felt fear not just really for me more for you know my little girl who can't be vaccinated and me going back to school and to the school year next next week and um and I, i'm a teacher as if you all don't know now i'm excited about going back but i know that there's risks involved you know and so i felt like it was important to take a moment to just take a time to acknowledge that and to pray and and to encourage one another if you know um you have friends who are going through any of these things or have family members being affected by these storms or earthquakes and, or disasters, please reach out to them. I ask you if you are a Christian man or woman, if you're not a Christian man or woman, I mean, whatever faith you are, please reach out to those people to see how they are doing, how are they are feeling. You know, um, these are times when we tend to feel alone and we tend to um, maybe if we don't feel like other people understand us, it could be temptation to feel alone. And so I am with my little girl outside here, so I'm making sure I get her. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to take a moment to do that. So let's bow our heads and let's pray. Our awesome, amazing, wonderful, good and holy God and Father in heaven. Father, we come before you right now to ask you for healing. 
for, to ask you for courage, Lord, to ask you to trust in you during these times. Father, at this time, just hearing about the earthquake in Haiti and the people that were potentially affected, Lord, I pray for them. I pray, God, if there are people who are in need right now, who are needing to be safe, maybe there's people that are uh, still you know, surviving and need to be found. Father, I pray, God, that you be with all the workers. Father, be with all of the, the people who are trying to rescue, Lord. I pray that you will rescue as many of, as possible, Father. God, I pray you be with the families as they're here worried about their, their, perhaps their children or their other relatives, mothers, fathers. God, I pray for them. Father, I want to pray for those who are sick right now, living with this virus, God. Those whose family members are sick, Lord. God, I pray that you heal them. I pray that you heal them. I pray that you bring comfort. I pray that you bring peace to those who have lost loved ones, Father. I pray that you comfort their hearts. Please, Father, I know that these are tough times that we're going through and you never promised that life would be easy. I know that. This is the life that we're going through and the only way and place that we're going to be in an amazing um, and peaceful place where everything will be awesome and perfect is when we're with you and when we're with Jesus. And I'm looking forward to that. But right now, Father, I pray as we are on this earth that we may do your will, Father. Ultimately, Father, may your will be done, God. May your will be done, Father. I pray for mercy. I pray for grace, Lord. I pray, God, that you protect those most vulnerable from disease, from these storms coming our way, Father. I pray we come together as a community, as a world, Father, that we may come and find true peace in you, Lord. We love you so much, Father. We lift up to you this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for taking time to pray. And let us continue praying for one another. Until next time.